In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 13, verses 14 through to 18. So when you see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let the reader understand. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains. Let him who is on the housetop not go down into the house, nor enter to take anything out of his house. And let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes. But woe to those who are pregnant, and to those who are nursing babies in those days. And pray that your flight may not be in winter. For many this reading may be a bit confusing. There's a little subheading before the reading starts. It says, Tribulation in Jerusalem. It is all about being prepared. And here we are reading about the prophet Daniel who had spoken, forecast what was going to happen to Jerusalem, the destruction of Jerusalem. And history shows that this is what happened. When you think about the temple, how it was destroyed. But the main message here is be prepared. And as we are in this Advent season, this preparation season to celebrate the birth of Christ, our Saviour, we too must prepare ourselves for that event. But more so, we must be prepared for the end times. For those days when Christ, as he's told us, will be back. We must be prepared to face judgment. And so this preparation must be something that happens every day. We must be prepared to be judged for what we do. For what we haven't done is what we are being judged on. Pray to the Holy Spirit that you won't be caught out like the pregnant woman or the woman being and who is nursing, etc. Or those who's out in the field working. In this reading today, we are warned to be prepared and not to go back to the house to collect your clothes or whatever. To be warned. We must be ready now. We don't know when it's going to happen. Only God the Father knows this. So be prepared. As we prepare ourselves now, in this Advent season to celebrate the birth of Christ, Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Pray, read the scriptures, go to church and partake of the mysteries of Christ. Receive the body and blood of Christ, the food of life. Pray constantly that you will not get caught out. Be prepared. Be prepared. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.